So today I want to build a looper setup inspired by the Cosmos looper pedal by Soma and I will concentrate on the four delay lines algorithm which will have four delays that drift from one another and create all sorts of textures. And then later on I will quickly show you the reverb and granular algorithms that I also built. But I will skip the two delay algorithm for now since you can just remove two delays and get the same result. So we will need four delays. For this one I will use four prints of perception modules. One, two, three, and four. Right, and to mix them, I will use the Surge XT mixer. I will connect each pair to left and right as a stereo voice, right? So we have left and right, and then another one, another channel, left and right, and this will go already to the output. Now, before we test this, I will set up a few macro controllers to help us with tweaking everything. And for this, of course, I will use Patchmaster. Right, so I will add one unipolar knob. Right, and this will control the feedback. So I will call this feedback. And then if I hover above it and hit Shift and 1, I can map the first one. Shift and 2, I can map the second one. So like this, I can just quickly map the four feedback knobs and now I have control over the feedback of all four delays. I will quickly do the same for the mix and delay time. Right, so now we have control also over the mix of all four delays and the delay time as well. Now the interesting thing about the Cosmos is that each delay has a different delay time, so they are all out of phase and will create interesting textures. Now this I can simply do by setting different ranges for the mappings. So if I zoom in a bit, Again, I can uh, control the four delays with one controller, but I can change the mappings. So the first one will have the range of 0 to 100, but the second one, for example, I can offset it by 10%, right? The third, I can offset it, let's say, by 20, more or less, and then the fourth, let's say, by 30, right? And now if we have a look, if, for example, I set the first delay to, let's say, about two seconds, right? So we have here two seconds, but the second one will be 2.5, the third one 3.2, and the fourth will be four seconds. So they are all offset, they have a different length or different uh, delay time, and they will be out of phase from one another. Right, so now let's quickly test this. I have here the FM operator I can just play with my keyboard. And actually I would like to have also input level, so I will just use the VCV mix. Right, send the FM operator to the uh, mix module and then this will go to the four delay lines. Right, so now if you want to use something else, you can just use, just change the one cable instead of making all of the connections. I will change this to about, let's say, 75%. I have also some reverb um, added, but now let's test this, see how it sounds like. I will just play something. I can change the mix, I can add more feedback, right? The more feedback, the longer the, the loop, let's say, or the longer the loop will stay. And then let's say, uh, yeah, let's stay with about 2.5 for the first delay. Let's uh, do this again. Right, so you can hear the four delays are out of phase and you get this lovely texture. Okay, now before we move on to the blur and the drift, let's add a few more things. So first of all, as you can see, we have also a drive control here on the Cosmos. So in VCV rack, I will add after the mixer, I will add a distortion module from, again, Surge XT. With it, we can add some drive. We have also a high pass and a low pass here on the Cosmos. And on the Prince of Perception, actually we can do this quite easily from the module itself. To the left, it will be a low pass. To the right, it will be a high pass, right? So we can add another macro controller. In this case, it will be bipolar, right? And then to the left, it will be a low pass and to the right, it will be a high pass, right? Just like this. And then I can start mapping everything. So again, with shift one, I have the first mapping, shift two, the second one, and so on and so forth. So I don't have to open any menus. And now we have a look to the left, we have low pass, to the right, we have high pass. So we have also a filter control. 
Now on the Cosmos, we have also a suppressor and a compressor. I will start with the compressor. This will be after the distortion and it will be the compressor from Squinky Labs. It's a stereo compressor that works really nicely. And as for the suppressor, this will duck the wet signal, making space for new audio. And this again, I can do quite easily from the Prince of Perception itself, such a great module. We have here the ducking um, feature. This will basically duck the wet signal, giving space to new incoming audio. Right, so again, I will just use another macro controller. I can duplicate this module with Shift X. I can remove what I don't need. Right, and then this we will call SUP because I'm not going to try and uh, write a suppressor. And then again, map this to the ducking. One, two, three, and four. And then we have also suppression. And now a few more things. I would like to have one button that will freeze or will hold the loops. Uh, something similar to the record here. Right, so this again, I will do with a macro controller. I will add a latched button here. Right, this we will call, let's say, hold. Right, and again, just map this to the freeze function here, to the freeze buttons on the delays. Right, so now I can also freeze the delays. And another one, I would like also to have the reverse function. And this is also available on the module itself, which is quite cool. So with Shift D, I can just duplicate controls and then call this reverse. And then let's say one, two, three and four. And one more thing before we test this, I would like to add something that is not available in Cosmos but can still be very fun. And this scanning through the buffer, this is also built in here on the Prince of Perception. So for this, I will need another um, knob, Shift D, duplicate. If I hold control, I can move it around. Such a great module, this patch master. And this we, and this we will call uh, scan. Right, and again, just map it quickly, and then we will have a short test to see how everything is working here. Right, so let's say again, the feedback we will take uh, quite up. Um, let's say delay time, we will leave like this. For now, let's leave it as it is. Right, and let's test this a bit. So I will just enter a few notes. Right, if I add some suppression, for example. Right, I can also hold the buffer, reverse it, add some drive, add some compression. filtering. Right, and we have also scanning. So if now I reduce, let's say, the, the, the loops here, I can scan through this. Okay, so now let's have a look at the blur and the drift. So I will start with the drift. This will add random panning modulation to the four delays. Now in VCV rec, what I will do before the mixer, I will add two fade modules from VCV, right? And I will use them to crossfade between the left and the right to switch between them, but while crossfading between them, right? So first of all, I will send the delays through them, right? So we have left and right, and then back to the mixer, left and right. And then another channel, left and right. And now I can, right, with the knobs, but we will add modulation to this. I can switch between them. So all the way left, we have left and right, but then I can crossfade and switch between right and left. So this will create movement in the stereo field. And for this, I will use two um, walk modules from Bog Audio that will output smooth random signals. Right, so they will go to the CV inputs. I can change the rates a bit, make them a bit different from one another. Right, and now to control the amount of drift, I can set a macro controller to control this attenue verter. Right, so I will need another module here, another patch master. Again, I can delete what I don't need. 
And in this case, this will be a drift, we said. Right, and then again, map this one and two to the, where is it, here. By the way, I will have to make also the walk modules unipolar because I would like the fade to move in this direction, right? And again, this will happen randomly. So all I have to do is change the offset all the way up and then they will be unipolar, right? So now what happens here, uh, have a look here. When I take the drift all the way down, you see here it takes the attenue verter because it's an attenue verter to minus 100. But I want to start from zero. So here, instead of using a, a bipolar and having it always on the center, I can just change the mappings the range of the mappings to 50 to 100 percent right and have a look here so now 50 is basically zero and then 100 percent will be 100 percent here positive right so i will do this also to the second mapping here again the second one will be also 50 to 100 right so let's quickly test this i will just enter maybe one note and freeze it scanning Right, so now when I start adding drift, I hope you are with headphones, you can maybe hear the delays moving around. Maybe this will work better with longer delay times. Right, so try and focus only on one sound and see how it moves in the stereo field. Right, without. And then with. Right, so now we have also some movement in the stereo field with the drift control. And we have now the blur function. This is a bit more complicated because this will cross feedback the delays into each other. And here in this case, I will do this in pairs. So what I will do, I will have a CV mix for each pair, right, for each two delays. Opelak, this was here. Right, the input of the first delay will go first to the CV mix on both pairs here right take the level all the way up and this will go back to the first delay with the red cable for audio right so now basically we have the same result but i will take a copy of the second delay and send it back to this cv mix to the mixer right in both cases so now i can decide how much of the second delay will be fed back into the first delay for creating all sorts of blurring textures Right, so also for this, I can set up a macro controller to control the actual level. So again, Shift D, I just duplicate this. Let's call this uh, blur. And then one and two, we have just two modules in this case. And also here you can see all the way left will be minus 100 because this is an attenue verter. So again, with the mappings range, if I set this to 50 to 100, you see it jumps to the center because 50% now will be in the center, which is zero, and then all the way right will be 100%. So like this, I can control the amount of the second delay feeding back into the first delay and blurring everything, basically. Right, so this is the setup for the four delays. Let's make this here, right? We have the compressor, we have the, the, the drive, we have the drift, we have reverse, we have the four delays. Um, I'm going to play with this a bit and then show you the reverb uh, algorithm and the granular algorithm.
Okay, so this is inspired by the reverb algorithm. Instead of four delays, we have two delays, one left, one right, but the voice uh, will go first of all through plateau. And the nice thing about plateau is that when turning the diffusion down, right, this button here, and this knob, this will act actually a bit more like a delay. So it will not be diffused. It will not sound like a reverb, but it will sound like a delay echoes um, that are very clear and not diffused and not blurred, right? We still have most of the controls, right? So I have here feedback. This will control also the decay on the delay. We have mix. This will control also the mix on the delay. Delay time will control also the size. Right, again, we have the filtering, we have reverse, which is coming from Prince of Perception. In this case, freeze will hold the reverb, which is also quite interesting. And again, we have suppression. So I will play with this a bit. Of course, we have again the distortion and the compressor. Um, Drift and Blur are doing nothing in this algorithm, so they are not available. But let's listen to this a bit. Right, you can hear even before it hits the delay, you can hear the echoes. This is inspired by the granular algorithm. In this case, I'm using Supercell to granulate the sound. I have one delay before Supercell, so it gives a bit more um, signal for Supercell to granulate. And I have, or to granulize, and I have two delays left and right after Supercell. Again, also here we have distortion and compression. Uh, we can reverse the buffer. We can freeze also, hold. Supercell. I don't have a macro controller for this because it's just here, a big button here on the on the module itself, right? So let's see how this will sound like. Um, let's start with a simple note. Right, and now I can hold the buffer. Can reverse the delays. Add filtering. And I can add also modulation for the position and the grain size. Right, just by turning the attenuators here for everything, but especially the position and size, this will add internal random modulation, which is quite fun. By the way, to change the time on the Supercell itself, you can just click this button here between 4 seconds, 8 seconds, 1 second, and 2 seconds. And that was it. You can find a link to the different patches in the description. Um, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.